An incident took place on September 6th at Smith Point Beach on Fire Island that saw Cardi B and her sister NSC Carolina and Carolina's girlfriend Michelle Diaz reportedly being sued by a group of beachgoers who claim they have been publicly defamed. They claim they were peaceful Suffolk County residents quietly enjoying a Sunday at the Smith Point Beach with their families when rap celebrity NSC Carolina suddenly approached them insulting, assaulting, defaming and threatening them. All the while videotaping them because one of them wore a MAGA art. A MAGA art is a Make America Great Again art. Cardi shared a video of the altercation on her Instagram stories on September 6th with her sister. Then tweeted in a, in, then her sister tweeted in a response to Candace Owens' claim that her music contributes to the disintegration of black culture and values. When I, when I followed the story and I saw that Candice got involved, I just got really turned off mm. by the whole thing. I've always said it on this table that I don't like to put my energy on uh, American politics because I just I just feel like it's it's like uh, most of neo colonization that like there's still this this idea that other people must be concerned about your mm. your politics, but nobody co is concerned about Edo politics or Nigerian politics or Brazil's politics. So why are we stressing so much about? America, that's my, that's my intention, that's my dream. But I know that's not the reality because America influences the entire world. So yeah, it is our business on how things are going on there, which is why I'm even going to stress a little bit on this conversation. Um, it is a bit offensive to, you know, it, it, it's very easy to become the thing that you're fighting against. Mm. So if you're saying that somebody is racist, right? We all know a group of people, hush, hush. We all know that these people stand for racist things, right? Mm. Okay. But there is still the level, because they're human beings, they still have a right to believe in that one, especially if their actions haven't actually been proven to cause harm to another yeah. person, right? So if, if that's the case, and then you go about, you on the right side, quote unquote, because it's all perspective, isn't it? Everyone thinks that their, their side is the correct side. Mm -hmm. Even the racists will argue with you that they're not racist, they are whatever, whatever. So for you to then, um, even on your good side, then um, harass somebody for... Those say um, they're Republicans. Yes, well, yeah, for har harassing somebody, exactly, for harassing somebody for wearing a hat that symbolizes Trump and everything that he stands for, I think you've made uh, two wrongs instead of yeah. a right. I always used to say something, anytime somebody offends me, I always use everything inside of me to calm down so that the way I respond, I won't take away from what the person has done. Because if the person does something wrong and I respond rudely or I say something, it will not be about what the person has done to me anymore. It will be about how I responded. So I think it's one of those things. And they had good intentions. Obviously, we know what the hat represents. And mm. it's quite oppressive. And the Black Lives Matter movement is stemmed from that and all that type of stuff. It's good, good intentions. But you still don't have any rights to go harassing people and calling them names because they're wearing a hat. I, I, I really don't think so. I like the fact that you brought that up because an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. So if mm -hmm. you're fighting against something and then you keep coming out to say, fight other people for what you're fighting against and yeah. it's their belief. So, and I think everybody has um, a right to their beliefs and um, opinions and whatever they choose to, or whatever political party they choose to go for regardless mm -hmm. of race. So right now the tables are turning and I, I like the fact that that is actually happening because sometimes black people tend to play the victim a lot mm. as sometimes even when we're doing wrong mm. we want to play the black race card like i'm black that's mm. why they're trying to harass me you see a lot of celebrities that leave the shores of this country no okay no let's even leave nigerian celebrities now let's talk about american celebrities you see them smoking in their cars when mm. they're driving and they're doing the instagram live videos mm. if they get pulled over for any reason by a cop now mm. and then you don't have the license to be smoking marijuana right or carrying a gun and then you're being arrested and then they'll still say oh but it's because i'm rich i'm black i'm famous that's why you're harassing me but you're mm. doing the wrong thing brother you have a gun on you mm. you're smoking marijuana mm. uh, 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 what's it called controlled substance so at the end of the day i think we also need to come correct when we actually yeah. want to pull out the race card yeah. so um if Cardi B and her sister, NSC, <laughs> that's so funny, <laughs> Cardi and NSC did this, um, I just hope they I get think drunk. I did that deliberately, I'm pretty sure. They probably had some uh, voodoo type funny parents back then to name their children Cardi B, uh, Cardi and NSC. Or maybe NSC. they just had drunken parents. Maybe. All right.